guys, this is part two of um, the reusing things. Um, sorry, I accidentally pressed the button again. Um, but, so never mind. But anyway, we're just going to my desk and we're going to put these things, put the cup holders in here, uh, pencil hold, pencil, pencil cups in here. Um, so yeah, because these are a good organiser, I love keeping these McDonald's things. Um, I have some other um, lids, which I shall show you in a minute. We're also going to have a look on where to put them as well. So that's actually not supposed to go there, and neither is that, that bowl. But anyways, that bowl is just a mess now. So you can see I have quite a few cup holders here. Quite the collection. So I'm only going to put a few cup holders in here. The ones that, well, the ones that fit are just going to go in here. Only the ones that fit are going to go in here. That looks really cute, and then that one can easily fit over there. Then this can be reused for something else. For example, instead of using this big basket for all this stuff, why not put these cups in here? Because these cups easily fit in here so well, and they make it a lot easier. And then we have the rubbers, a sharpener. For some reason, we have a little shop joke that's not even supposed to go there. And then some bookmarks. And there's my marking, and there's all that. And that is way better. And then we can reuse this basket, this handy basket, for something else that needs it. I'm not going to put the paper in here though. Oh, yeah. On my time lapse morning routine yesterday, um, subscribe to Boss Family TV. I showed you a bit because there is a time lapse. You may not have been able to read it because it's quick. I need a drink. So my old sir is getting at it again. Okay, so we're going to definitely reuse this basket for something else. Oh, and I talked about the lids. I've loads of different kinds of lids. I love reusing lids because. I just think it's really good to reuse a lot of things. Now you may think I'm a hoarder. Yeah, I, I understand. But it is good to reuse these things because you never know when you're going to need them. So I've reused four of the McDonald's fizzy drink lids. So I've got three of the regular ones. But when we went to McDonald's yesterday, we don't get it very often. And um, they started doing these clear ones, which I think are even better. So I really like them. So, I've got four of those. I also reuse a Pringle lid. I should have two more soon because we actually have two Pringle tubes in the house. We have, uh, we have plain Pringles. And then in the other tube is Paprika Pringles. I do not like Paprika at all, but I love the plain so much. And my mum would probably got them for me. Not to eat all at once then. And then I've got three ice cream lids. And I've got one moldy lip balm lid. Now this lid isn't moldy but the lip balm was very old so I, well, I thought why not reuse the lid. It's perfect. You never want to know when you're going to need to reuse it. Okay now where should I put these stick men? Because I have no idea literally where am I going to put them? I mean literally. Oh I know. I can actually see a space under my desk that they fit them. Perfect, so I can easily fit them there and it looks tidy because no one can see them. The only things are under my desk is a bin, the wires and the plug obviously and then we have um, a little binder here with some books in. We have a water bomb, don't know what that is. It's basically just a balloon and you fill it up with water. It's different kind of machine, I'm just going to put it down there. <laughs> Why not? And then my stick then. So that is actually pretty tidy. Now, what do I do with this? I literally been waiting for ages. I have no idea what to do with this whatsoever. Really, really need to think about this because I don't want it just sitting there. Oh, I've just had an idea for a Pringle lid. No, not a Pringle lid, an ice cream lid. That could fit perfectly on top of here. Oh, actually, that's quite big of this. Maybe the Pringle one? No, too big. Never mind. 
Now, anyway, I definitely think this is really cute and I can easily lift it up. Oh, another thing I don't know what to use for. This is these cute containers. These are gum containers. These are the Bebeto meter gum. Um, my friend Lucy actually knows the person who made, who invented this, so um, shout out to my friend Lucy. I love these because they're really cute and yeah, I just like them. So we'll see what we can reuse these for. Because you can reuse things for all sorts of things, no matter how big or small it is. And now I'm trying to think. Hmm. So at the minute we're trying to look for a space for this basket in this tray, a pencil case, gum cases, a ton of different lids, is this, my box of pens, and then these should be pretty easy. Now I think I'm going to put them on my desk somewhere I think, because you never know when you're going to need like tissues and wipes. It's always handy to have them. So I'm just going to split a packet of tissues down there. And then my wipes can go easily up there. And they fit really well up there. Now, oh, I must not lose these. You guys. I shall be back in a minute. I'm just going to go put these earrings in the case. Because if they get lost, I'll be in trouble. Because these are not cheap. Just letting you know. Okay, so we're now going to go and look for a home for the better gum cases. Now, what could you fit in here? Not sure. I need to kind of find something to fit in here, maybe in my drawer. Oh, I know exactly what to do with these. These could easily fit some pencil sharpeners round ones instead of just going in the drawer like faffing about for it like look at that and there's also like these mini post-its in these so I'm gonna work something out for these I think that'll fit that in line okay so this one will only fit the green pencil sharpener but this one should be able to fit all of them. Okay, so we only fit the pink and the white. So that's way easier and then you can add this cute little chug in there. Right, I'm trying to think about this. Now, this I have no idea what to put in there, literally. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Um... I literally don't know. I don't know. What should we put in here? Mr. Lion, can you tell me what to put in here? Please. Okay, Mr. Lion's not telling me. Wait, is it a tiger or a lion? It's a tiger. It says I am the brave tiger. Anyways, uh, off that subject. <laughs> so, yeah. What should we put in here? You guys, I thought of an idea for this and it is the other pencil sharpeners that are in there. So I actually have four different ones. I have this red one. Which is really cute. I have this cute hedgehog one. And then these are both from the same place. So I've got a purple and a red. So these are really cute. I love them. They're really cute. Anything that's cute is good for me. <sighs> God, shut this. Easily, I've got a place to put this on my desk. Right. Um, 
right there. Right, I'm trying to think of other things that I could do. Like this pencil, this box of pencils. Oh, it could go in there maybe. Oh, I found a place for it. Easily. Yep, I found a place for that. Just on one of my shelves. And now I'm going to try and find a place for this cute little organiser. It's the cutest organiser I've literally ever seen. It's so freaking cute. I'm going to take this out. I'm going to keep the other things in it. I'm going to take the pipette and that thing out. I'm going to keep the test tubes in it because it's got a really perfume on it. And then I can add other things there, like, oh, glue doesn't fit in there. But I can add things there, like my cream, my water. So I'm going to add my cream there, then is it fits, because that's really cute. And then I'm going to add, this clip is full of random things. I have some more cute clip on there. I can just... I can just fill it with these little random things. Aww, don't you think that's a little sweetest little rubber ever? Hmm. My friend Hannah gave it to me. It's so cute. Look at that! I love it. And I can easily just add couple things in there, things that are cute, obviously, it needs to be cute, otherwise there's no point in it being in there. Okay, I kind of found a place for a couple of things, so that can easily go in there. Now, this is just random now. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. What about this is my question. There will be a part three to this, um, obviously. So tomorrow, on Monday, I'm probably going to upload my uh, morning routine. Then part one of this will be uploaded on Tuesday. So part one of this will be uploaded on Tuesday. Part two of this will be uploaded on Wednesday. Part three on Thursday and then Friday. I shall get another video for you, obviously, because, ah, hey, is everybody listening? You're important to me, because you're worth it. I think you're worth it. I think, Yowie Vlogs, if you're watching, I think you're amazing. Just saying, I think you're worth it. I, I agree. Like, full of agree. Anyways, right, I need to find a place to I need to find something to put in this jar and where am I going to put it? I think I'm going to put it where that cute little cup was because this can be reused. I'm not having that cup there anymore. I'm going to put that with the other plastic bags. There's no reason why that should be there. So, yeah. I'm going to use this as another pen holder and I'm going to use the lid and just have that as a pen holder there. The lid is going to go into the lid box. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to come back for part two on Tuesday and um, Wednesday. Bye. Boom, chicka, boom, baby. Bye.